The Herald Standard presents The Game of the Week. Tonight, we open the season with the perennial rivalry, Uniontown at Connellsville. The battle for the cold bucket. In the first quarter, Connellsville dominated, receiving the kickoff. And 11 seconds later, Blake Lancaster was standing in the end zone. Not a good start for the Raiders. But don't worry, it gets worse. Uniontown's Dom Richter receives the kickoff and is immediately swamped by the Falcon defenders. Turning over the ball, Weston Miller comes up with the possession. It took only one play, quarterback Joshua Mayer to Jalen Rogers. And Connellsville is up 14 to nothing. 25 seconds into the game. On their next possession, the Red Raiders rookie quarterback, Jake Shiley, took to the air a long pass directly to Connellsville's Gage Galat. First down for the Falcons. Mayer on the run, heaves a heck of a pass. Downfield to Jared Ozias. Did I mention it's still the first quarter? Uniontown has to stick to the run, and it's becoming predictable. Penalties back up the Raiders against their own end zone, leading to a safety. Seth Coons knocks out the ball. Down by contact. Two more points for the home team. On their next possession, a 42-yard run by Gavin Connor puts us dangerously close to the mercy rule. Bad snap leaves us at 29-0, Connellsville. Uniontown responded, beginning with a solid kick return by Dom Richter. Followed by a patient running game, Colton Witt knocking on the door. Capped off by Kyron Cradgett, Uniontown narrowly escapes the mercy rule. In the second, Mayer narrowly escapes disaster after a high snap. But on a fourth down conversion, the Falcons go from the Uniontown 40-yard line to their own, and they hand the ball to the surging Raiders. Connellsville has one more up their sleeve before the half, a bobbled catch by Rodgers. But Dom has something to say before going to the locker room. And that is touchdown. But Uniontown would not score again in the second half. Connor trips the mercy rule late in the third. And the Cole Bucket will live with the Falcons. Our first game of the new season ends 64 to 19. Connell's This is Jonathan Guth, uh, Herald Standard Game of the Week with Connellsville quarterback Josh Maher. And Josh, um, you guys came out, you know, last year they were winning the game and you had to rally today. Uh, you guys get a kickoff return as a quarterback. It's always nice, right, going out in the field with an early lead. But if you could just talk to me about the good start this time. Oh, it's incredible. Like, to have that at the beginning of the game, it's just, it feels, it's a lot of relieving. It's real relieving for the team, for me, and then we come out again and score, it's even more relieving. It's just a great team effort. Couldn't ask more from our special teams guys and my line and everyone. I know last year uh, you had um, a little bit of an unfortunate situation, right? Um, you were actually injured, uh, and you didn't really kind of tell anybody about it, but then, um, you know, to come back and, and have all that adversity, I mean, how, how important is this today to just come out and then know that you're healthy and, and ready to go and hopefully lead you guys to you know bigger and better things. It just feels great. Uh, we've been waiting for this moment all season, all preseason, just working in the weight room, sprints, everything, man. We're just, we're just happy to be here, happy to win. It just feels good to be back. Feels and this be back. this is definitely a big game, and uh, you were involved in it last year, mm -hmm. but um, to come back this year and, and do the same thing again, I mean, and even have an even better game, uh, how, how important is it 
just uh, for yourself uh, to kind of and also your teammates to get that uh, big rival win? Oh, it's a huge confidence booster for us. Uh, we were looking forward to it, and then when they started scoring, we kind of got nervous, but we didn't fold. We stayed strong. We kept our foot on the pedal, and we just started kicking butt, and we were, kept it rolling. And um, now you guys look forward to, um, obviously, a really tough uh, conference. Um, nothing against Uniontown, but you know there's a lot of big uh, teams on the rise, like McKeesport next week. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm, I'm sure it's something that Coach has been talking about, right? Like, as happy as it is to win and beat Uniontown, I'm sure you want to win more than, obviously, you know, just one game. You want to want to really start uh, kind of taking things and – showing like what Connorsville football is about, which, uh, it, you know, we talk early 90s, but Connorsville was feared, and I'm sure, uh, is, is that something, that you're a junior, right? Yes, sir. And something you're really uh, proud of to try to lead you guys back to that? Yeah, we just really want to get back to there because we don't want to be the doormat anymore because, as you see, we put up points and we can just do it. We just got to keep confidence up and keep striving for greater things. What, what today, um, and, and you know, you had obviously a good offensive day for yourself passing, um, uh, do you, do you, I'm sure you attribute a lot of that to, to having your line helping you out and, and giving you a lot of time. But uh, with your receivers, I mean, is it? It seems like you got some weapons out there. Is, is that just make your job just that much easier as a quarterback when oh, you, it, when you don't have, you know you can pick your have different guys that can catch it? Yeah, it's no doubt. My guys are great out there. We worked all summer. Just having those guys out there, those threats, it's incredible. I got two on each side. Can't ask for any more. And the lineman up front, I couldn't ask for a better job. They killed it tonight. What, what do you think's made uh, yourself better in, in terms of your, your passing? Is it is it just precision, timing, uh, anything in particular, or just an overall attitude about the position? A little bit with the attitude. Uh, timing's the main thing. Uh, we were out down here a lot working on routes and just mainly stepping into throws and making them powerful. And I know my guys can catch them now, which is awesome. I just couldn't ask for more work. Awesome. So, uh, good just get ready. Uh, I know it's exciting tonight. Glad to get that cold bucket and keep, but I'm sure uh, – after tonight, uh, you guys wake up tomorrow, right? Watch film and uh, get ready for McKeesport, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Absolutely. Next, next game. Next All right. Game. Well, congratulations. Thanks Thank for your time. You. Thank you. Jonathan Guth here uh, with victorious Collinsville head coach Marco Thomas and coach. Uh, you guys came out, you know, and we talked yesterday, you know, and you said. Yeah, success and you know off-season work, but but really it all matters on the field on Friday nights. Um, so couldn't ask, I'm sure. I'm sure there's always things to improve on, but a great start, yeah. and um, I'm sure just so happy for the guys. Yeah, right? you you can't ask for a better start. You know what I mean? They open kickoff, turn back, then get a fumble, and then the next play we score again. Um, total opposite of what we were used to last year. You know, what I mean, we we were normally the guy that had to try to fight back at the end, and uh, it was nice to get out to. Uh, uh, jump out to the lead uh, and I'll tell you what these kids were excited they wanted to get out here they've been chomping at the bit for weeks and it showed the way they came out and you um you guys are winning 29 nothing now they score and and then I think you scored but then they got another touchdown they they kept coming um, and I'm sure uh, easy <laughs> message in the locker room right was don't don't give these guys a, a, a breath because they came out and they got the ball, no, but for that point, you were able to, you know, get a stop and get some scores oh, and kind of put it away. No doubt. Yeah, we told them, you know, they, these guys are coached up. Coach Lloyd knows what he's doing. I um, mean, we knew that if if we kept on giving them an inch, they're going to take a yard. You know, so we just told them, you know, we had to regroup. We got a little tired towards the end of the second half, and it showed. We had some cramps. We had little things going, uh, but the kids regrouped and they came out the same way that they came out in uh, in the first half. You know, they were firing and they they were ready to go. We talked about it uh, in our interview about you know Craig it being just uh, you know that's a tough kid to tackle you, you gotta yeah. you gotta tackle him you can't try to arm up high right oh, there's, uh, <laughs> there's no doubt about it if you tackle him up high he saw him. kids were going for a ride or they were getting flat and uh, the kid's a heck of a runner I mean he's a young kid still too and he's strong uh, he's gonna have a great season he's gonna have a great two more seasons after this yeah but um you know that's what we focus on all week uh, we learned last week Shaler had a big running back. Uh, you can't tackle those kids high, otherwise it's going to be a long night. And for you guys, um, uh, jo Josh, I mean, you know, he he had an unfortunate situation last year with the injury, and um, but you know he's come back strong, and it doesn't seem like uh, you know it's affected him. And and um, just if you could speak about his play. Oh no, uh, I mean he's uh, he's phenomenal. His work ethic is uh, second to none. He's um, He's just developed into a great leader uh, in the, off the field, on the field. Um, but I'll tell you what, he puts the time in. He, he really does. He knows what's going on. Uh, I was telling people this week, you know, I'll 
I gave him a scouting sheet on Monday, and you know Monday night I can start with the formation, and he'll finish with, with the play. He knows exactly what we're thinking about already. Um, a lot of times he'll come to me, he'll say, "Hey, let's try this," and I'm not going to second guess him because I know that he he knows what he's doing. I want him to see the field the way that he has, and he he's just played phenomenal. He's putting the ball on the money today, stepping up nicely. It was great to watch. Yeah, and even though you had some running backs down, um, I think Boo Barth was out too, right? Boo Barth was um, out too, yeah. And, and Stonebreaker, but yeah. but the the other guys came in, uh, Connor, and, and, and did what they had to do, and, yeah. and Josh even had some nice runs. Yeah, I mean, uh, I told Gavin all week that he was probably going to get the bulk of the, lo- the load. Uh, he, I thought he ran phenomenal today. I mean, he, he, he did what we asked him to do. Uh, Stanley came in, had a couple nice runs uh, as well, and then uh, Marchuka at the end there had a nice little run. So uh, I think we got some options. Uh, I I hope that, uh, you know, Boo Arthur is definitely coming back here soon. That would be great because he, he's going to make us uh, a better team and a, a harder team to stop. Now, I know this is exciting, obviously, to win uh, against a rival. But, you know, really a lot of the, the I guess you could say, critics out there say, well, okay, they beat, you know, a team that's been down. Um, what do you think you guys are going to have to do next week? Uh, to pr- I know I know you want to enjoy it, but, you know, I'm sure yeah. thinking about McKee's. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, I'm t- the staff and I are going down to the game tomorrow. We're yeah. going to watch. Uh, we know it's not going to be a cakewalk there. We know what McKee Sport gives us. Everybody knows what McKee Sport gives us. I watched them last week, and uh, they went against Central Catholic, and uh, it was a it was a great game to watch, and it was a scrimmage. Uh, so uh, we, we got to just be well prepared. And as the same thing goes, uh, if we don't tackle, we're not going to win, you know. And uh, we just got to get get the guys at the ball, rally, and uh, knock these guys down. And from what I've seen, they're throwing the ball too this year. So we got to be ready everywhere. And what, what what is something uh, that maybe you'd look into and just say like tonight like oh we I wish we would have done this a little bit better. Oh, uh, just uh, we, when we kind of got into a lull there in the second quarter, uh, I wish we we as coaches probably should have subbed a little more. Uh, I think we kind of ran a couple of these guys ragged, uh, so we just got to work on getting some kids some more reps just to keep uh, the starters fresh. Awesome. So uh, we just uh, enjoy this one and hopefully. You know, we can start uh, getting Pawnsville back to what it was. I, I, I know, um, you know, a lot of these kids are probably their dads and granddads yeah. and uncles have played, and and um, for you, that's it's always the the benchmark, right? To, no, there's no doubt about it. I grew up in the '90s, and like I said, I tell the kids all the time. At the end of the year, I knew I was playing Connellsville for the section title, and that, that's our goal. We want to get to that point where everybody starts to fear us, you know. And uh, it's it's not going to take one game. It's going to take a season of of doing that and. You know, building a little respect in the league, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, we can continue. I, we can't let down anywhere. You know. Awesome. Well, you have a lot of weapons out there, and hopefully, we can uh, keep it up and, and have some good things to to show the area about uh, Fay County football. Yep. Definitely. Thanks. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey, yeah. Jonathan Goose here with uh, Uniontown um, head coach Cedric Wood. Coach, uh, when you start behind the eight ball like that, I mean, you know, it's. It's, a, it's tough, tough kind of to overcome that. Um, and the guys did, you know, keep fighting, and it got a little bit out of, out of, you know, a little bit away from you later in the game. But, but um, just if you could talk about that start, I mean, I, it's just one of those things. It's tough, tough to, you know, overcome. It is. I, I think we have a lot of youth, and and that's what showed early. Um, the uncertainty of, of of can we do this? Will we be able to do this? Uh, those are the things that showed early. As we settled down and began to play, I thought mid-second quarter on, we didn't look bad. It was the, the halftime break. We came out with no enthusiasm. Um, we were not ready and charged up to take the second half kickoff and do something with it. Yeah, because at that point it was a 17-point game. I'm, and, you know, you score there, anything, anything's ha- possible. And uh, But one thing, um, I was in, you know, with uh, – Chiron, I mean, we talked about him before, you know, and, and you know, he showed what, what he can do. And, um, and and then you had Dom come in here and make some couple big plays. Uh, so so those are nice things. I know, obviously, you, you want some more involvement, right, from other people because you can't just rely on one or two guys in a football right. game. I, I think our season is kind of predicated on our O and D lines. I, I think our kids have to uh, become more physical. They have to do better so that we're able to accomplish the things we're trying to get done. And um, and their their guy, uh, their quarterback, obviously, you know, he has a lot, a lot going on for himself. But uh, past uh, some of those long plays, it wasn't exactly like it was stand back there 
and pick pick it apart. Not to say that he didn't have a good game, but but uh, just if you could speak a little bit about that uh, defending against that type. Well, of... I I think you know he's a terrific kid, uh, especially tall and lanky. It's it's tough to defend coming off the edges. Um, we got to him a few times, not as much as as we thought we'd be able to. But again, like I said, up front for us is the key to our success moving forward this year. And we've got to figure out a way to get better defensively on the line and offensively on the line. So, yeah. so uh, just pretty much kind of go back, uh, watch the tape, and um, try to get ready uh, for next week. And, and hopefully, um, I'm sure uh, with some success, hopefully can bring the kids um, some confidence, right, and, and well, building them up a little bit. I, I think we got a little confidence today. Um, we just have to continue to play and, and execute the way we're capable. Uh, we didn't do that. 17 penalties, I think, today uh, really hurt us. As, as well as, you know, like I said, we have a lot of youth that this was kind of an eye opener for them. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get, we will get better, and we will continue to strive to play harder. And with Jake uh, being his first start, I mean, I, I know it's, I'm, I'm not going to like beat around about the stats, but still. Um, uh, how do you think he handled himself overall? I mean, I know it's it's tough anytime you have your first varsity start. It's first time guy, never played quarterback before. Uh, came out. I, I think he did a a good job. Not as excellent as we would want, seeing as how uh, we struggled to complete passes. Uh, our running game will carry us if we can throw the ball. So we're going to go to work and 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 put him in position to have some success. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for your time as always. I hey, appreciate, appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Have a good night. Thank you.